Shalom. Shalom. Um, the start of this lesson, we want to give all praises and glory to Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakakodash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, and citation to the sincere brothers pushing the truth and all truth and sincerity throughout the four corners of the earth diligently. To you, we say Shalom. 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 All right. And we link up in the spirit. I'm the brother of war, and to the left of me, Gabar. And to the right of me, brother Amawan Ibad. And we link up to the, uh, linked up in the spirit. And what we want to go into is. All right, it's a good thing to wait on the Lord, man. That's right. right. It's a good thing to wait on the Lord, cause by you waiting on the Lord, it comes, it comes with, it comes with rewards. That's right. <laughs> you know, it comes with rewards, man. And one reward is, one main reward is salvation. All right, and I'm gonna pass it to you. Got a good word. Um, yeah, because you know, you you got uh, you got guys in Israel, you know, one body in Yahweh Shai. That those that those bug outs. And if you're still in, in these bug out groups and you didn't leave, um, then, you know, it's your lot to stay there and going to go down with them. Right. Um, and, you know, we, we, we don't want to kind of touch on them specifically, but we, 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 we are just, you know, we want to edify the church. Yep. And that's what the Lord set us up to do is to edify, to build up the hopeful elect, to build up the elect so that they, they, that they could be chaste virgins when Yahweh Shai returns, that's our job, okay? And um, you know, we just kind of want to go through the spirit, and we gonna go through the book. What does the book say about waiting on the Lord? That's right. Not what what not what a man says. That's right. So we're gonna go through the book, okay? The record that was left for us, the Israelites, mm -hmm. and we're gonna see what did the Lord say to do. Right. What, what 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 should we be doing in this captivity? And what we need to do to be saved is all written in the book. So without further ado, if, do you have some more? Yeah, I'm looking for some. I'm close. Okay. Well, you, you want me to pull some first? Go ahead. Okay. This is Lamentations chapter three, and verse twenty-two. It is the, of the Lord's mercies that we are not consumed, mm -hmm. because His compassions fail not. They are they are new every morning. Great is Thy faithfulness. The Lord is my portion, said my soul. Therefore will I hope in Him. The Lord is good unto them that wait for him, to the soul that seeketh him. It is good that a man should both hope and quietly wait. <laughs> I'm going to read that again just in case you, you guys didn't hear me. Right, for the people in the back. Yeah, right. It says, it is good. The scriptures say that it is, it's a good thing to wait on the Lord. Mm. You're not wasting your life by waiting on the Lord. The Lord got all the goodies. So why not wait for him? He got everlasting life. Mm -hmm. He got a, uh, if you're an Israelite man, you, you're going to have multitude of women, riches and peace, quietness. And my father's house of many mansions. So Yahweh Shai got the goodies. Mm -hmm. um, continue reading. I'm going to read it again. It is good that a man should both hope. And that's what, what do we hope for? We hope to be saved. That's right. On the, when Yahweh Shai come back. And quietly wait for the salvation of the Lord. So that's what we're waiting for. And the scriptures say this is a good thing. Mm -hmm. So you got God saying that it, it, you guys are wasting your life waiting on the Lord. But the scriptures say opposite. So who should I believe? Right? That's what you should be asking yourself. You should line up, the even us, what we're saying, go look it up yourself. Go in the Bible and see what, what we're saying is lining up with the scriptures. And this is why the Lord left the book so that we can live by this book, not by what a, a, a nigga says. A nigga, a nigga literally told you to give up. <laughs> Basically, go live your life. Live your life. Yeah. You know, put Yahweh Shai's plan B. So when Yahweh Shai come, oh yeah, oh well, what's up Yahweh Shai? You gonna save me now? Come on, man. <clears throat> Got it, brother. This is the book of Psalms, 37, verse 9. For the evildoers shall be cut off, but those that wait, but, but those that wait, sorry, let me read that part again. But those that wait upon the Lord Yahweh, they shall inherit the earth. So you have to wait on the Lord, man. And by you waiting on the Lord, you're going to inherit the earth, man. All right? And we already know who's going to inherit the earth. Uh, Matthew 5 and 5, the That's meek right. shall inherit the earth. Yep. Yeah. All right, so we uh, we waiting on the Lord. I'm gonna wait for the Lord, and I'm gonna wait for Him to reward me. All right, 
I ain't go go live my, you know, and I'm, I ain't trying to make it about those guys, but I'm going to just say it. I ain't going to go live my life, all right? I got a job to do. That's right. All right? And if I may bring out this, this another precept, because I want to bring out an example right quick using the, the Apostle Paul, all right? This is 2 Timothy chapter 4, verse 2. Preach the word, be instant in season, out of season. Reprove, 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 reprove. Rebuke, exhort with all long suffering and doctrine. All right, jumping down to verse six. For for I am now ready to be offered, and the time of my and the and the and the time of my departure is at hand. All right, and read that verse again. Verse six. For for I am now ready to be offered, and the time of my departure is at hand. I have fought a good fight. I have finished my course. I have kept the faith. Henceforth there is laid up for me a crown of righteousness, which the Lord Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, the righteous judge, shall give me at that day. And not and not to me only, but unto all them them also that love his appearing. So at the end of the day, the reason why I brought this out is because Apostle Paul, I'm using him as an example, because Apostle Paul, he was doing he had a job to do. Alright? He was doing his job, and he was able to say that I have fought the good fight. I have finished my course. Apostle Paul wasn't enjoying his life, all right? He was doing the will of the Lord, man, all yep. right? Mm -hmm. And now, at the end of the day, like, uh, at the end of the day, it's, it's nothing wrong with you having a good time, you know? The Lord may bless you certain times. You might have a good, uh, a so-called, I won't even say a good day, a decent day in this, in captivity, all right? The Lord might bless you. But at the end of the day, we're not trying to live our life in this place, man. All right? We got a job to do, man. Work hard, all right? By you working off, uh, working hard is going to pay off later, man. All right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Even in the world. That's the spirit. I was just thinking about that, when you, man. When you, when you work a, a double shift, mm -hmm. you're going to get compensated for that. Right. Hey, if I may say, uh, you bust your ass, for example, from the age of 16 till you're like 60. When it's time to retire, you can you can uh, re relax. All right. So, <laughs> God damn it. Okay. Uh, you got it, brother. This is the book of Isaiah, Isaiah chapter 40 and verse 31. It says, "But they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength." They shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary, and they shall walk and not faint. You know, really getting straight to the point. You know, we waiting upon the Lord, suffering now. We're gonna, we're gonna. I don't want to reconcile with those men. You know, brother, certain brothers gonna get spiritual powers, man. You know, certain brothers gonna mount up with wings like eagles. Why? Because they obey the word of the Lord. And they wait upon the Lord. Okay? That's what it is because we we, we, we suffer it now, man, so don't, we don't be condemned with the world. Mm -hmm. All right? Um, you know, there's a clause in, in what the brother just read. It said, but those that wait. Right. So if you don't wait, you don't get that. That's right. That, that's, that doesn't apply to you. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> if you don't wait, the promises that are coming, don't. That, that that's not for you right. because you have to wait in order to get them. That's, that's how it is. Got to wait. Um, this is the book of uh, Romans, the 8th chapter. I'm going to jump in at the 16th verse. It says, The Spirit itself bear witness with our spirit that we are the children of God, sons of the power, Yasha Allah, prince of the power. All right? That's talking about us, man. You so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans whose blood lineage goes back to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. It's talking about you, man. Okay? The elect of you, the elect of Israel. Okay? Yeah. Verse 17, it says... Because we, we the children of the Most High, it says, verse 17, that if children, then heirs, right? Heirs of the Most High and joint heirs with Mashiach, if so be that we suffer with him. See, this is why we got to suffer now. This is why we're doing, we taking a low now, okay? That we may be also glorified together. For I reckon that the sufferings of this present time are not worthy to be compared with the glory which shall be revealed in us. Going back to those spiritual powers which some brother's going to get, mm -hmm. okay? The Lord says he's going to give his men spiritual powers, man, and they're going to um, prophesy in the uttermost parts of the earth, mm -hmm. 
Okay, the, the promises was given to us. That's for Israel. Okay, new bodies, all that. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh yeah, and, and there were particular promises that Yahushua made to his followers. Right there, you go. There were there were literally promises that he made to Peter, and that all applies to all his disciples. Right. Ye that have followed me in the regeneration. That's right. So he made the Yahushua just wasn't talking shit, man. He <laughs> made promises. That's right. And he has to keep those promises. That's right. Hey. He, 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 he can't just say something and, and, and not happen. Right. And I could, and I could, uh, and you can prove that through the spirit, uh, through the scriptures. I got I got it right here. It is Hebrews 13 and 8. Yahweh Shai Mashiach, the same yesterday, the same yesterday and today and forever. Mm -hmm. That's right. Yahweh Shai don't change, man. Right. All right. God damn it. The Lord said it. Uh, uh, Revelation 2 and 25 on down. Mm -hmm. You know? The, the, the Most High, Yahweh, you know, told, uh, you know, his begotten son, ask of me and I shall give the, he the heathens, you know, I'll give thee the heathens for thine inheritance. It said in, in Psalms, the second chapter, the eighth verse. And, 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 and our Lord said, us who continue until the end, who, who, who overcome, <laughs> he's going to share his inheritance with us. That's right. You know? Re reading on, this is the um, 19th verse of uh, chapter 8 of Romans. It says, For the earnest expectation of the creature waited for the man manifestation of the sons of the Most High. That's talking about us. Okay. So even they got to wait. Yep. There you Read go. Read that again. It says, For the earnest expectation of the creature waited for the man manifestation of the sons of the Most High. That's all creatures. They yeah, waiting for, they the waiting for us to come to come rule back the world again. Exactly. The way it's supposed to be originally. Right. Yep. That's right. Mm -hmm. You know? The trees gotta wait. The fish, everybody gotta wait. That's right. That's right. <laughs> the scripture say that man. Uh, 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 Isaiah the fourteenth chapter where it says, uh, uh since this fella has laid down, yep. uh, since you know, he saw it went down, the, the, no fella has come up against us, man. That's right. So the trees are gonna rejoice. Mm -hmm. Right? I'm going to jump down to verse 28. Romans chapter 8 and verse 28 says, And we know that all things work together for good to them that love the Most High, to them who are called according to His purpose. For whom He did foreknew, He did, He also did predestinate to be conformed to the image of His Son, that He might be the firstborn among many brethren. Moreover, whom did he predestinate? Them he also called. And whom he called, them he also justified. And whom he justified, them he also glorified. What shall we say to these things? If the Most High be for us, who can be against us? And, and see, that's it. If the Most High is for you, who can be against you, man? That's right. He is that omnipotent power. That's right. Okay? The infinite power, endless, boundless power, man. Okay? King of the universe. Okay, that's our power, Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh Shai. And if you know that in your mind, you should walk accordingly. You know? So, hey, we 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 waiting upon the Lord, man. You know, we waiting on the Lord um, patiently, man. The scriptures say, in, 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 your, in your patience, possess you your soul. Yeah, uh, you, got, you got some more now? No, oh, that's it. Can you get Baruch 4? Matter of fact, it's the book of Baruch. It's, it's, Wait, one, four, and one? Uh, no. Wait, for you. Uh, start at 21. The, the book of Baruch, chapter 4, and verse 21, it says, Be of good cheer, O, o my children. Cry unto the Lord, and he shall deliver you from the power and the hand of the enemy. So he's not, you're supposed to be crying to the Lord while you're waiting. Mm-hmm. Okay, so you got guys telling you to just give up and you know just go hit the stock market and go uh, go go fucking keep working and what he want us to just forget about the Lord? Yeah, by Baba Kishav, I might say by crying. That's how you get that that tawa. Exactly, sign and crying. Yeah, that's how, that's how you get that tawa. How do we know that? Well, let's jump back to uh, we can jump back to Ezekiel. Then we can jump back all the way to Exodus, where the scriptures say the Lord heard. The groanings of Israel while they were in captivity. Right, yep, 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 yep. The scriptures say he heard the groanings and he had respect unto them. Right. Mm -hmm. And he sent them a savior to go save them, which was Moses. Moses. All right? 
So the Lord hears all oh, your little groanings, your little fuck. When y'all, every time your alarm clock go off, fuck, man. Mm -hmm. Your little moanings and your groanings, and you know, mm -hmm. he, he hears that. Mm -hmm. So it's good. Keep complaining. Mm -hmm. That's a good thing. Mm -hmm. uh, at Ezekiel chapter nine and verse four, and the Lord said unto him, Go through the midst of the city, to the midst of Jerusalem. Jerusalem is the people of before the place. And set a mark upon the foreheads of them that sigh and that cry for all the abominations that be done in the midst thereof. So how the hell can you get comfortable in a place like America? Hmm. How? how? If, you, if you're truly a righteous soul, you could never be okay with this world. No. no. Never. No. no. You're going to always cry. You're going to always sigh until the... I don't give a fuck if you hit the Powerball. If you are if you're one of those men or women, righteous women or men, right. men and women, you're gonna cry. And the scripture says, "Surely oppression make a wise man mad." If, right. you, if you know, if you if you dwell with wisdom, you know you're being oppressed. Right. You're gonna you're gonna understand that I, I don't want this. And you live under the curses. Right. Yeah. Well, oh, oh, we can get that count with Lot. What what, what was Lot doing? Mm -hmm. Lot was crying. Yeah. For all the abominations that was done in the midst thereof yeah. too. That's right. And, and none of us was richer than Lot. Lot was rich. Right. Scripture right. says they, they vex his righteous soul. Go, go, go back and read the, the substances that Abraham and Lot had. Mm -hmm. they none had of so us. Much they, they had, had so much they had to separate. Yeah. So Lot wasn't. He was good. Yeah. <laughs> and he was still crying. Mm -hmm. Right. Because he was righteous. That's right. When you're righteous, you're righteous. The Lord created you a righteous spirit. You're not going to be okay. You're, you're not going to be okay with this place. You're going to be crying. Right. You're not going to give up on the Lord if you're righteous. And man, right. Every time I hear that account with, with, with Lot, when he offered those men his untouched <laughs> daughters, bro, yeah. and they didn't want them. I, I was like, these, they mind poison, bro. They need to be out of here. They were faggot-ass Hamites. <laughs> bro. Nasty, nasty faggot Hamites. I got that. Uh, you got it, brother. The Lord with Exodus. Come on. You got more or more? Uh... I mean, that, that, that was the point, but I could read down two more verses. Yeah, go ahead. It says, verse 5. And to the others he said in mine hearing, Go ye after him through the city and smite. Let not your eyes spare, neither have pity. Slay utterly old and young, both maids and little children and women. But come not near any man upon whom is the mark. So if you don't have that mark of exemption, you're, you just, you're just a free kill. You, you you free meat, man. Mm -hmm. yep. No right. lying fruit. Right. That's right. It says, and begin at my sanctuary. Then they begin at the sanctuary. Then slacky. Then they begin at the sanctuary. Slacky. Then they begin at the ancient men which were before the house. Which yeah. were the elders. That's right. It started at the elders because we start at the top. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right. And you got a war. No, I'm just saying is, is there are particular things that us, even as a camp, when we out there preaching, there are certain things that it may it, it's not off, it's lawful to do, but there are some things you just don't tell Jake, All right. right? Because Jake is very simple. Right. You can't tell a, a group of simple ass motherfuckers some you can't you can't just talk to Jake any type of way, right. because if you do. Jacob, they'll sometimes they'll take it literal. Right. right. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like we'll be we'll be talking amongst the brother. You know we'll be preaching out there, and, and a war. It was like uh, this was uh what this past week mm -hmm. when we went through that Matthew six. Right. And I said, oh no, I ain't gonna say that. Oh, that, that's right. Weird. I was just thinking about. You know that. what I'm saying? Right, right. There are some things that yeah. we gotta catch ourselves, right. even when we're preaching, and it and it's not even wrong. Right. Be it's for Israel's sake. Mm -hmm. When you're a shepherd. You can't just say anything out your mouth. Right. Because mm -hmm. you don't know who's watching your videos. Right. Mm -hmm. You don't know. Mm -hmm. Keep it simple. You, you, you don't know. So sometimes you, you just go one deep. Yeah. You and that's why the elders say that because that, that, <laughs> that particular phrase, Jake might just run with that. Right. How many Jake's going to hear that and say, you know what? You know, he, he might be right. I, I, I'm thinking I'm, I'm, I'm not going to wait for the Lord no more. Guess what? Who called? That? That's your body. Right. Yep, yep. That's on you. Yep. That's your body, and you're going to have to deal with that when your house shot get back. That's right. You're going to deal with it. That's 
Because you said it out your mouth. What did the scripture say about a false prophet? If 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 I, if, if, if I set up a false prophet and you listen to him, he he's going to die. But his blood going to be on your hands. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. So a lot of you guys that are preaching the mark of the beast, a mark of the beast is not this, is not that. Well, guess what? If you don't tell them what the mark of the beast is and they going to take it, that's on you. Yep. That's on yep. you. That's what that's what we out here doing, getting the blood off our hands, man. Mm -hmm. That's why that's why you gotta that's that's why you gotta know uh, 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 the, the, the the true doctrine, man. You can't right. just be saying things because your leader telling you it, and you you have in your spirit you feel like they're wrong, but you just continue to go with it. Yep. Go find where the true that and 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 go with that. Yep. Go with that. You know, don't just oh you have your your your, your leader. Yeah, a particular leader of some of these different camps, they they got their leader telling them a certain thing, and they know for and they spirit that they feel like they're going off, mm -hmm. like this just seem, this don't seem right. But guess what? They just continuing to go with it. Mm -hmm. Stupid. So like what you saying to your point now, they they continuing to lead the sheep astray. Exactly. That blood is going to be upon their hands. That's right. When they could have sought the the, the hundred percent truth, that's right. And, and then repent from that. Mm -hmm. Give yourself a chance to repent, and then you could be spared. Yep. Because you repent from it, you might have been teaching it, but now you repent from it because through the spirit you were led, you understand? To the to the truth. And then you repent from that and again, move forward. But if you just sucking up what whatever your leader telling you and you know it in your spirit, it don't seem like it's right, but you just continue to you go just with blindly it. Blindly following it. Yeah, you blindly following it. You ain't, you ain't going you. off what the scripture's saying, right. you're going off of what he's saying. Right, that's that's on you. You ain't supposed to do that, man. Right. What does the scripture say? The scripture say if uh, if, if any other you Paul said if any Anybody else come to you and preach not this gospel? Even let a, an angel, even an angel. Even an angel. If apostle to us said it, man, I don't think the mark of the beast is the chip no more. Guess what? We, we, you supposed to say, oh no, right. man, right. oh man, uh, uh, uh. <laughs> that what you supposed to do? Right. Mm -hmm. You supposed to say, nah, he, uh, uh, I don't believe that. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. You supposed to be convicted in your own spirit. Right. That's what the scriptures say. Work out your own right. salvation. That's right. You supposed to check things yourself. So he could say, oh, don't wait for the Lord. You supposed to say in your mind, man, fuck that. I'm waiting. The Bible told me to wait. Mm -hmm. The Bible says, I just, I read it earlier. The Bible says, wait on the Lord. Those that wait on the Lord shall inherit the earth. That's right. Mm -hmm. All right. So it, what's the opposite of, if you don't wait on the Lord, you're not going to inherit the earth. Oh, can, can you find that for me? I'm going to, well, scripture say died, they died seeing not the promises, but, uh, Many wish to see. Yeah, that. Because over two thousand years ago, there were men that thought that that was going to be the end. That was going to be Yahweh, when Yahweh Shai came back. They thought that that was going to be ushering the kingdom. That's why they said, "Well, now this time restore the kingdom." All right. Right, but they died, and they left a legacy. They left something to come back into. They didn't just drop the plow. You can't just stop. You gotta die in the truth, man. That's right. Or all the, the apostles, they were murdered. Mm -hmm. You know? Yep. John on the island of Patmos. He was he died of uh, old age. Yep. Right? So even if you know, those men that they, they came back, they, they didn't have a stain on their resume, so to say. Mm -hmm. Their spiritual resume. And they, they came back, they came back into the truth with a clean face. What, why? Because they waited. They will patiently wait. They suffered it. That's, right. That's what we got to do. We got to suffer until Yahweh shall get back. That's just what it is, man. We got to be grunts. Mm -hmm. You know? Got to take it. You gotta wait, like, like I was saying, you got to wait on the Lord so you, you can inherit the land. Oh, wait. You get, like I said, I believe it said inherit the land. Mm -hmm. See, we got to wait on the Lord. If you don't wait on the Lord, what's the up? If, let's say if you don't wait on the Lord, guess what? You're not going to you're not gonna partake. You're not going to be the first one. You're not going to receive. You're not going to partake of Yahweh shy. Uh, you're not going to partake of being beamed up You're going to mm -hmm. partake of that second death Because yep. you ain't wait man That's right You have to wait on the Lord man Alright mm -hmm. If you don't wait on the Lord You're going to you're gonna be in the You're going to come in the uh, kingdom With your head down Because you ain't wait on the Lord man it, Let's say even And you're it, not waiting that long Thank you Prophecy is is popping Pro Prophecy about to kick your door, di door in It's not even knocking on the door It's about to kick it in man That's right <laughs> Here it is the prophecy Kick it out Nigga say You know what Man I got to fucking go and join my life man that it's a lot of <laughs> seducing spirits gonna seduce right. people, man. Right. You know what? Just just go ahead and 
just go. You ain't got to wait no more. Right. You know, those are seducing spirits. Those those demons jump on you, man. Mm -hmm. You know. I got a scripture for you. The water. This is Luke chapter. I'm starting from verse 22 to the point. This is 24 from Luke chapter 10. It says, "All things, all things are delivered to me of my Father." Oh, all things. Mm -hmm. That literally means all things, yeah. spirits, and the earth. The Lord Yahweh gave his son everything. Yep. He got the goodies. <laughs> That's the guy. That's right. <laughs> All right. All things are delivered to me of my father. And no man knoweth who the son is but the father. And who the father is but the son. And he to whom the son will reveal him. And he turned and he turned him unto his disciples and said privately, Blessed are the eyes. Blessed are the eyes which see the things that ye see. For I tell you that many prophets and kings have desired to see those things which ye see and have not seen them. That's right. And to hear those things which ye hear and have not heard them. That's right. Yeah. So we're blessed to, to know the things that we know. Mm -hmm. Because he said he just said it that many uh prophets. Many kings. prophets and kings, they wanted to know mm -hmm. particular things and they, they didn't they didn't get to do it. Mm -hmm. They they had they wait they waited and they didn't get it. Mm -hmm. But you know, count ourselves blessed. Mm -hmm. So if we count ourselves blessed to no particular things, how much more weight? Mm -hmm. How much more weight? How much more? What else? What the hell else are we gonna do? Mm -hmm. What else are we gonna do? There's nothing here for us, man. We are gonna wait upon the Lord he, he, and he, stay upon the Lord. <laughs> it's Esau shit, man. Yeah, this is shit. It's, it's crumbling shit. Uh, the water. Can you uh, go back to the boot? We waiting. We waiting for the. We waiting for every. For. We waiting for the time of rejoicing. Mm -hmm. And what that happens is when the righteous are in authority. That's right. Right now the wicked is in authority, which is Esau, and is people are mourning. All right. Uh huh. That's all that's happening. People are mourning. Right. You got it, brother. So, uh. You got it. You, you got it. You got it. You got it. Yeah, we're going back. We're going to the real quick. quick. This is the, Baruch, the book of Baruch, chapter 4. You can use that 22. 22. It says, For many, Slakia, for my hope is in the everlasting that he will save you. Wait, that's our hope. Mm -hmm. Can you read that again? It says, For my hope is in the everlasting that he will save you. If you're not hoping in this, you're not going to be delivered. Right. Remember, you, that you, hope you're, is... you're literally supposed to be waiting for the Lord. Right. That's the expectation. You expect it. That's see a, a, the the people that get caught off guard. The Lord says He's coming back as a thief in the night, right. right? So if you if he if he catches you with your pants down, sort of say that's the world what they say in the world, then you, you know you, you're not waiting on him. Scripture say we are prisoners of hope. That's all we got. Yeah, we're gonna get that too. The other account where Paul said I'm a prisoner. <laughs> Paul said he was bound, man. Yeah. <laughs> Paul said he was bound. And you're a prison. I, I can't, this is what I got to do. This. Right. We 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 prisoners too, man. That's right. Us brothers that felt we right here, we prisoners, man. That's right. We got to do this. And, yeah, that's and it. We, we, and we, we want to tell us we exactly. the gospel. Right. And we, we said it. We we said damn man every week. You know, mm -hmm. we 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 prisoners. We, we give ultimatums to our families. Right. Mm -hmm. we, we tell them this is what it is. You don't like it, you can beat it. That's right. You can beat it. <laughs> you can beat it. That's right. Motherfuck that, man. That's right. You can kick rock. I love the Lord. That's right. Love the Lord, man. You know what I'm saying? Yep. <laughs> Shit, you got it, brother. For my hope is in the everlasting that he will save you, and joy is come unto me from the Holy One because of the mercy which shall soon come unto you. From the everlasting, our Savior. That's right. The Lord about to have mercy on us. How? He's going to put put his laws in our inward parts. Mm -hmm. And he's going to save us. That's right. Go ahead. You got it. Uh, verse 23, it says, For I sent you out with mourning and weeping, but the Most High will give you to me again with joy and gladness forever. Mm -hmm. Forever. You got to wait. Mm -hmm. It's coming. The Lord ain't, ain't tarrying this thing. Pre food prices going up, ships sold overseas, mm -hmm. 
pestilence plagues. Bill Gates talking about he, he bringing small. Look, hey, it's here, man. Mm -hmm. Inflation. Hey, what, all that. What you? You ain't gotta wait too much longer. Mm -hmm. Chaos about to break loose. Bro, bro, that's that's a war strategy from the Most High. The Most High's not to break this place down. Bro, we we can be out here. We can be out of this bitch by next the beginning of next year, man. It could, it, it could happen. Come on, bro. Food getting too expensive. Well, motherfuckers can't even afford food. Mm -hmm. Bro. Gas going up like a mother... Soon, man, look. What's that going to cause? That's going to cause up for us. Man, you look. Can, you can feel the spirit. You can feel it, That's what I'm saying. It, you gotta, that's why it's important to tune in to the spirit. Right. Mm -hmm. Look, that's why the Lord told you to watch. That's right. If you're watching, you see that he's coming. Right. Right. But you ain't watching. You're listening to niggas. Uh-huh. <laughs> a nigga with a garment on telling you to, you ain't got to wait no more. Who the fuck is you? Mm. Who the fuck is that nigga to tell me not to wait for the Lord? Right. Go live your life. We ain't got, I ain't had, never had no fucking life, man. Right. I ain't never had one. Right. Working nine to five and getting up and going to work every day, that's not a fucking life. To why, to why they are about shit, man. Shit, we not carried away with every window of doctrine. That's not, no, that, that's not, no, that's we, not a life. We, we just listen to, you know, the elders and the apostles. That's why the scriptures <laughs> say, ye shall know the truth, and the truth right. shall set you free. That's a very heavy scripture, man. Mm -hmm. That's heavy. Yeah. Uh, what, you got something? Yeah, I, right, I wanted him to finish that. You can throw it to you. Uh, verse 24 it says, Like as now the neighbors of Zion have seen your captivity, so shall they see shortly your salvation from the Most High, which shall come upon you with great glory and brightness of the everlasting. That's right. Here's the point of verse 25. My children... Suffer patiently. Read that again. What? My children suffer patiently. One more time for understanding. <laughs> My children suffer patiently. There you go. We're suffering. Every time you get right. up, go to work, right. you, you're suffering. Right. You go work those long, grueling hours. You're enslaved. We're right. slaves. Right. That's right. Every time you hit that clock, you're suffering. Uh huh. Cause we are, we supposed to be a royal priesthood. Exactly. You know, we are royal people, a regal class people. That's right. But we're suffering. We're suffering. And it says so. It says when you go into that word patient, one of the words synonymous to patience is suffering. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that's what we have to do. Mm -hmm. That's what it is. Go ahead. My children suffer patiently the wrath that has come upon you from the Most High. Mm-hmm. For thine enemy had persecuted thee, but shortly thou shalt see his destruction. But shortly. Uh-huh. So really, it ain't been a long time we've been to the most high that we, yeah. we've been getting our ass kicked. Mm -hmm. One day is as a thousand years. That's what years. I'm saying. A thousand years as one day. What? Esau put us in slavery. What, we started slavery 1619? Mm -hmm. Or a couple Never hundred? Before that, but. Yeah, that's what I'm yeah. saying. So Just to gauge it. Yeah. You know? So let's say, you know. 350 six, years. That's what I'm saying. That's, you know, it, it, well, it, the description say double, so call it 500 years. Okay, so let's say 500 years. Yeah, it hasn't five, even been. The scripture one, say they got to pay double. So okay. that's a thousand years. Okay, so, five, yeah, so, so let's say 500, 500 years. Right. One day is a thousand. Right, so and, that's and, like five days. It's been half of a day. Right. <laughs> so in the Lord's eyes, you know, he really only put us on punishment a half a day. Think about it. Right. Yeah, so it's not a long time. It's not a long time to the Lord. Right. That's how spoiled we are. Yeah. We, are we are crying. And kicking, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. The Lord, like, all right, be quiet. I'm, uh, you know, he about to give us everlasting life. Right. <laughs> you never, never go have punishment. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Right. That's how the Lord spoiled us. That's why the scriptures say, just you won, wax fat and kicked. Yeah. Yeah. Right. We got spoiled because we came out of Egypt. We were, you know, we were good. Lord gave us everything, decked us out. Right. So I see that's why when you look at this thing with understanding, you 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 can see more clearly. Yeah. If you look at it with understanding, you see the understanding of what the scriptures telling you. That's just just we have to suffer these things. Yeah. And it don't seem like forever because you're living, you're going through it day by day. It's like it was like a, it's like a little time to the Lord. Oh, that that what the scriptures say. We're gonna be like those that dreamed. Right. Yeah, yeah. It's gonna this shit gonna be like a bad nightmare. Right, right, a bad dream. Right. Drink, drink, right. What? Yeah. It's gonna be like a, the scriptures say that in the Psalms. Yeah. It's, it was gonna be it's gonna be like a bad dream. Right. Like damn. Say in Job too. He, he should fly away like a dream or something. Yeah. Like it, Job, the book of Job. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like Esau. 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 Yeah. Yeah. Is this the man? We gonna be like right. damn. The scriptures say we gonna be like damn. Where the fuck Esau at? Right. <laughs> 
You got it. Go ahead. Go ahead. The water, brother. Come, come. This, is the, <laughs> this is the book of this is the book of Psalm one twenty six verse one. A song of degrees when the Lord Yahweh turned turned uh, turned again the captivity of Zion. When we in the kingdom, he turning it. When he turned it. That's right. When we gonna be good, we gonna be in the, you know in yep. the kingdom. Mm -hmm. That's right. When the Lord Yahweh turned again the captivity of Zion, and this is that's Zion, David, right? Uh, it just a song of David. It says it just say a song of degrees. Okay, come. Come, I'm read again. When the Lord Yahweh turned again the captivity of Zion, we were like them that dream. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be like a motherfucking bad dream, boy. Hey. Hey. Verse two. Then was our mouth fill, filled with laughter. Yeah, we gonna be in the kingdom laughing That's like, right. oh man. <laughs> hey, I'm gonna remember we had to go work. <laughs> hey, we gonna be in the kingdom busting out laughing. We gonna tell our kids we had to go to work. They gonna say, what? What's that, Dad? Right, right. What the fuck is a job? Right. <laughs> what the hell is that? Like, what the fuck is that? What the fuck is a car? <laughs> Yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. Hey, we got we got a lot of good promises coming to us, man. That's right. That's why. That, but you have to wait. Yes, yes. You have to wait. Right. Yep. Well, you know, at, at the end of the day, those 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 of our people that don't wait, because it's gonna be, it may be motherfuckers out here that don't want to wait. Yeah. You're gonna receive your judgment. <laughs> you still gonna come back in the kingdom. <laughs> but why why receive judgment if you can come back in the kingdom? If if you could just get it, why why not wait? It, why not wait? Just I'll just say this. Why not wait? If you wait, you can just receive it now. All right? You can receive it. You can receive it this time instead of going through the second death. That's right. And you want to be a part of that first resurrection. That's right. That's that's hey, That's where it's at, boy. That's where it's at, bro. That's, that's right. where it's at. We done went through that on the, before. That's, that's what right. you're fighting for. That's what we fight for the first resurrection. That's right. When the Lord come back and setting all his men up. Okay, yep. this is this is you. You got this. You got that. Mm -hmm. Crown crowning session. You gonna miss that. Yep. You gonna miss the crowning session, man. If you die, <laughs> right. I mean, if you die not in the truth, because the brothers that die, you know, they are gonna be on the chariots first. Right. But I'm saying, if you don't wait, you lose patience. You're not gonna see that crowning session. That's gonna be that. That's only gonna happen once. Salvation is going to happen yeah, once. The crown of session is going to happen once. Scripture yeah. speak about that. Say, woe to them that lose patience. That's oh, that's right. That's right. That, hey, that crown of session is going to be lit, bro. Oh, yeah. It's going to be lit. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Lord, let me, hey, man. Oh, I'm on your house shot to put a crown on my yeah, head, man. Right. Me too, right. bro. Fuck me that shit, right. dog. Crown, that's crown. Right. Well, uh, 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 well done, my good and faithful servant. That's, that's right. right. That's right. I want to hear those words. Right. That's right. Because at that point, at that point, you can really go and live your life. Exactly. That's right. You have rest. You, you can actually go live your life. Oh, I, you. I did what I had to do. Let's go. Let's go. Now, man. now yes. you can go have fun. And yeah. guess what? You got to understand. You, we're doing this just, just like what? There's a grace period, right? Mm -hmm. right. We're doing this for a certain period. After this, you're, it's everlasting life, That's man. Right. That's right. That's, That's right. right. Yep. That's right. Forever. We read it earlier. The manifestation with. Right, you know, mm -hmm. for the sons of God. That's right. You mm -hmm. know, that's right. Yeah, you have some. Yeah, I'm gonna continue. I'm still in Psalms. Okay. Psalms. This is this is Psalm chapter 126 and verse two again. Psalm 120, 126 and verse two. Then was our mouths filled with laughter and our tongue with singing. We are gonna be in the kingdom singing, that's laughing, right. being right. married. Yep. That's right, man. Then. Then said they among the heathen, the Lord Yahweh have done great things for them. <laughs> the Lord Yahweh have done great, great things for us, whereof, whereof we are glad. That's right. Mm -hmm. you know? We're gonna be, we're gonna be set up on high those, those blessings. That's right. Mm -hmm. We're gonna see the, the full manifestation of the blessings in the kingdom, mm -hmm. and the heathen gonna say, damn. Damn, I gotta <laughs> finish this chapter. Boy, you got it. You got, got it. Got like you Preach, say, brother. You say something? Got it. You got it. Come on. Uh, well, I'm gonna read verse three again. Psalm 120, 126, verse three. The Lord Yahweh have done great things for us, whereof we are glad. Turn again our captivity, O Lord Yahweh, as the streams in the south. They that sow in tears shall reap in joy. That's what we doing. We cry. Uh, that's right. And sometimes our, our, our spirits are crying, and, and, and physically, brothers cry. We cry. Right. We cry sometimes. Right. Uh, I'm gonna close it out. Verse six: He that goeth forth and weepeth, bearing 
precious seed shall doubt doubtless shall shall doubtless slack it let me read that last, last part again shall doubtless come again with rejoicing bringing his uh, slaves with him yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yep yeah, that's right that's why we, we waiting because yep. we right. got we got we got uh, promises promised to us if you promise, uh, you know, let's say, you know, you, you promise your woman, say, hey, babe, I'm, 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 I'm going for a week. But when I come back, babe, I, I got you. We're going to go out. We're going to go, you know, do this and do that. and right. She's going to be like, oh, I can't wait till he come back. And if she's a faithful woman, she's going to wait for you. That's right. She's going to wait. Right. We, 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 we're the Lord's wife. Yep. So when he come back, he want to see, you know, he's the bridegroom. If you if you tell your wife I'll be back and you tell her to wait for you and and you come back and you just see her wa uh, wandering in the street you're going to be like what the fuck I told you I told you I'm going to come back <laughs> no I had to go live my life you took too long what what the you're going to be so you, you're going to be vexed man exactly but guess what you know what the lord going to do with you people you people that saying i couldn't wait for you lord he going to put you to death man because you're an adulterer matter of fact i got to bring out the scripture cuz it's in the scripture it's spirit that spiritual adultery this is a quick scripture i got this is matthew cha matthew chapter 24 verse 13 it says but he that shall endure unto the end the same shall be saved so you have to endure to the end man mm -hmm. all right and then you'll be saved, man. Yep. Oh. So, those are the qualifications to be saved. Mm -hmm. It says, he that endureth unto the end. He so, him, those <laughs> men that endure to the end, those are the ones that I'm going to save. Yep. Mm -hmm. You don't endure. You could, man, look. It could be 20 minutes before you have a shot come. And you say, you know what, man? I'm tired of this shit. <laughs> You fucked, <laughs> you fuck, you man. Fuck, dog. You are fucked. Right. And you can kiss your ticket goodbye. Yep. You, you say, you know what, man? Fuck this shit, man. I'm done. You see how it's shot. You're like, you're going to be like, oh, <laughs> shit. 20, 20 minutes later, you see how it's shot. Now, you're going to have particular demons fuck with your mind, but if you openly say that, man, right. I don't know, man. <laughs> Your wife tell you some shit like that, you know, like when she tell you, I'm fucking done with you. <laughs> hey, bitch. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Right. That's an insult, man. Like, damn. Shit, hey, man. That's like you, hey, to back you up, like you said, a nigga, a nigga, a nigga could say, man, I'm done with this. Y'all should to come seconds later. What you, what he, he you, can. What, 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 what the fuck are you going to tell him? He going right. to say, he heard, I heard you. <laughs> he heard you. Right. I don't know, man. Uh, he is merciful, but uh, that ain't a good look. Right. You got it, bro. Uh, Revelation 15 and 2. It says, I saw as it were a sea of glass mingled with fire, and them that had gotten the victory over the beast, and over his image, and over his mark, and over the number of his name, stand in the sea of glass, having the harps of the Most High. And they sang the song of Moses, the servant of God. And the song of the Lamb, saying, Great and marvelous are thy works, Lord, power almighty. Just and true are thy ways, thou King of saints. Yeah, so just going into, you know, getting the victory like, you know, you was just going into. You know, he that endure to the end of the same shall be safe. You know, this is how you're going to be safe, you know, by getting on those ships, man. When the world ignorantly calls UFO. That's right. You know, you wait upon the Lord. Just do what he tells you to do. Be obedient to his word. So they're not walking the way of righteousness. And that's it, man. It's all of the spirits of the most high. The elect, you know, it's going to be, you know, taken up into those chariots, man. You know, and looking at the destruction of Babylon as it, as it happening. You know, as a matter of fact, if I read verse 1, it says, And I saw another sign in heaven, great and marvelous, seven angels having the seven last plagues, for in them is filled up the wrath of the most high yeah so yeah when, when these missiles being shot to and fro and the ends of the earth by the scripture speak about that seven trump that by that by that seven trump we got to be out of here because sure. it's just going to be destruction yep sure. you know 
between the six and seven trump. It says, <laughs> by in seven shall know, what's it? It was Job, I believe. Job five. Huh. Yeah. You want me so to grab it? You can grab it. Uh, you know, make it all make sense, you know? That's right. And six troubles shall know trouble, you know? <laughs> I don't want to butcher it. Okay. Get it? I'll get right to the point. Job five in verse, verse 19. Yep, Job 5 and 19, he shall deliver thee in six troubles, yeah, in seven there shall no evil touch thee. That's right, so that's that seven last plague. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's those missiles, man. Mm -hmm. That's when he let it rip, you know? Uh, what's that, second as you're 16 and 13? Strong is, is, strong is, the, is the right hand that bended the bow, mm. you know? Uh, it's, it's missile, it's, 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 it's arrows that he shoot are sharp and shall not miss when right. they begin to be shot into the ends of the earth. That's right. uh, so intercontinental, intercontinental ballistic missiles, man. Mm -hmm. That's going to bring on the wrath of the, the, the Lord, man. The, the Lord's indignation. That's right. You know, but but as it say right here in Revelation 15, we're going to be in that you know as it were a sea of glass, man. And I saw. As it were, a sea of glass mingled with fire, and them that had gotten the victory over the beast and over his image and over his mark. Yeah, yeah we ain't taking your job. A lot of guys don't know who the beast is. Right. You don't know who you the beast who, who, You guys don't know who the beast is, man. And that's going to be their downfall. They still trust this devil. What's his image? You guys don't know what the image is, man. Know? You got guys still saying that this, the image is Jesus. Right. Crazy, man. We're at the end of the world. It's gonna take a little bit more than that. It's gonna take some some studying, some reading, giving yourself to diligence. Mm -hmm. And if you're not doing these things, hey, the scripture told you that you're supposed to do it. Study to show thyself approved unto the most high. You're supposed to do that. You know? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Blesses the man that read it. Give yourself over to some reading the scriptures. Search the scriptures. Yes, for in them you think you have eternal life. All of these things in the scripture, so if you ain't doing these things, how, how are you giving yourself over to diligence if you're not doing those things? That's right. The scripture, the Lord speak about, about, about to them that diligently seek him. <laughs> you know? Mm -hmm. He's going to reward those that diligently seek him. That's right. He's going to reward them. <laughs> yeah. He's going to reward them. Seek him ten times more. Right. You know? So if you're seeking him ten times more, you should know that waiting is a part of the, basically it's a part of the truth. Right. right, we've been waiting for we. How long we've we been? We, we wait for centuries, man. Right, we've been in captivity after captivity. There you go. Syrians, the uh, Babylonians, the uh, Persians and the Medes, the Greeks, the Romans. We, mm -hmm. we get. We've been waiting, man. And each life we've been doing the same thing over and over and over, man. Right, we've been waiting. We've been waiting. Right, how do we know we've been waiting? Because we came back in in, in our lot. We came back into the truth. Yeah, that's, sometimes you have to remember we was in captivity so long because what we just spoke about earlier, we spoke about that 500 years. That's basically was just under Esau. Exactly. All the other empires before them. Yep. Assyrian. Yep. Babylonian. You know, you just went through them. We've been, we've Greek, been waiting. You know, media Persian. <laughs> we've been waiting, man. And we we got we still gotta yeah. wait. We still gotta wait till it's done. Yeah, I wish I had to wait. Mm -hmm. You know, and he's still. You think yeah, I wish I don't want to see he hang with his men? You think your house? I don't want to hang with the Eli. Mm -hmm. Of drink, course he drink, do. Drink wine. He, yeah. he, he, he do. Drink yeah. wine with you again, you. Mm -hmm. Right. He think your house up in the heavens. He, he just you know, oh, fuck, you know, wow, damn. You no, know, he want to hang with his brothers. Right. Mm -hmm. He want to hang with the men that the Lord gave him. Right. Here you go, son. He gave his son friends. Mm -hmm. Here are your friends. Right. Mm -hmm. We're his friends. He want to hang with us, chill with us, talk to us. Yeah. Hang out. We want to do the same. Exactly. We want to do the same. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> he want to. He he's not in this kingdom yet. All all all, all have to be fulfilled. Though. Exactly. Mm -hmm. That we, we he's even, waiting even, too. Even the Lord said that no one jot not tittle. You know. Yep. Ain't got. You know. You know the scripture. Uh, <laughs> until all be fulfilled. That's right. Yeah. So when look when Yahweh give his son Yahweh shot okay, trust me, he gonna be happy. Yeah. He's angry. Well, after he finished kicking ass, he gonna be happy, man. He gonna have a smile on his face. Yeah. Say, I've been waiting, man. Yeah, come on, man. What? He been waiting. Yeah. You know? Uh, that is it, bro. Yeah. Oh. I was gonna grab that scripture real quick. What? So I didn't butcher it. What I just said just now. I think that's Matthew five and seventeen, somewhere around there. The scripture also said, "A day of vengeance burns in his heart." 
Yeah. So he 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 been, he got to wait. You don't think he want to fucking uh, slice heads off right. the nigga that pierced him? Right. He was spit on, and and and, and, and kicked and punched. He mil he humiliated. Right. You think he don't want payback? Oh yes he do. <laughs> oh yes he do. Uh, this is right. Matthew chapter five and verse seven is a thing that I think not that I have come to destroy the law. All the prophets I have not come to destroy, but to fulfill. See, our Lord came to fulfill. For verily I say unto you, till heaven and earth pass, one jot or one tittle shall not in no wise pass from the law till all be fulfilled. Okay, um, these, these things have to be fulfilled, man. The Lord going on the cross was something that had to be fulfilled. It's all, it's all prophecy, you know? And the scripture tells you that, you know, these things, the Lord put put these things in a certain time frame that He don't He don't move nor stir them. That's right. You know. Yep. So He we, don't we move nor no stir until they be, because everything goes off of He. Everything was already set. Right. So we just got it. Got to play out. Got to play out. That's the Lord's movie. Yep. Mm -hmm. Like yeah. when a movie come. Right. When you watching a movie, the movie got to play out. Right. He's the greatest director. His movie playing out right now. Yeah, we, you can't fast forward to the end of the movie. Yeah. If you watching it. If you're watching a movie in the movie theaters, you can't. How, how you gonna fast forward the movie? Right. You can't. The Lord say that the the, the the former things have come to pass, and now I declare unto you new things. Before mm -hmm. they happen, I tell you of uh -huh. them. You know. Yep. True as men. Yep. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. Uh, what verse you want? You can start at the top, brother. You can just, uh, read the verse ten. Read the yeah, I'm gonna read verse three in the NLT. Okay. This is the book of Colossians, chapter three, verse one. If ye then be risen with a Mashiach, seek those things which are above. That's right. What are we seeking? The kingdom. That's right. Seeking, well, first and foremost, Yahweh and his son, Yahweh Shai, and the kingdom of heaven. You know, spiritual things. You know, if you if you got a spiritual mindset, you're not gonna you're not gonna stop. Because you if you if you actually been quickened, which to make alive in the spirit, mm -hmm. and the Lord put the Holy Spirit upon you, you're gonna actually you're gonna physically despise this world. You're gonna, you, it's, it's gonna, it's gonna be like ill, yuck, ugh. Cause you know it's not running right. Yeah, that's how you're gonna be. You got it, brother. Seek those things which are above, where a Mashiach sitteth, on the right hand of the Most High. Two, set your affection, your affection, on things above. Not on things on the earth. Oh, let me get that word for affection real quick. That just stood out to me. Huh. Let's get that. <sighs> <sighs> I'll read it in the meantime in the, in the NLT. Think about the things of heaven, not the things of earth. <laughs> there you go. You know? I got the precept for you when you're ready. Go ahead, go ahead. Get that real quick. I'm looking up the word affection. Right, Matthew chapter 6 and verse 19. Lay not up for yourselves there you go. treasures upon earth where moth and uh, rust do corrupt and where thieves break through and steal but lay up for yourselves treasures in heaven where neither moth nor rust do corrupt and where thieves do not break through and steal That's, so what the hell are we gonna go do and <laughs> what, the, what, 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 what so all right so we're gonna say you know what let's go in uh let's let's go in a corporate world and, and try and get as much money as we can and then we're gonna be destroyed with this fucking money, mm. <laughs> which is not even really money. So what the hell are we gonna do? Right. Well, well there's I, I can't even think about other shit to do in, in this kingdom. Like I'm trying Remember, to think. What we talked about, bro. All you can do is eat. Hey, shit, you can do, but eat, man. You right. go out to motherfucking restaurants. Right. <laughs> you go home, lay with your wife. You know, and right. eat that much, man. Not, not only lay with your wife, your wife is the fire. <laughs> That's not even really, truly your wife. She actually hates you. <laughs> 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 I yeah. won't put it past it too. Right. Yeah, yeah man. You got it almost a lot. I was just gonna say to, to go by our point what you just said just now is I mean, first of all you have to know. You know, that's why the scriptures say, blessed are your eyes for they see. Yeah. A lot of people, they're trying to get rich out there. They don't see this because the most I ain't open up their eyes to it. Ain't everybody, right. every, ain't, ain't everybody could get this, you know. Yep. That's why we have to... Uh, I say to Wadi Harbash, you know, show every chance we get. All right, right man. Show forth right. the praises of him who oh, colors all yeah. oh, yeah. darkness yeah. and this marvelous light. Because this is the place to be, the habitation of the Lord. Get that. Get, when you finish that, you can grab the Asal in Revelation. Okay, come on. 
This is, uh, I'll jump down to the 33rd verse, Matthew 6 and 33. But seek ye first the kingdom of the Most High, and his righteousness, and all things, and all these things shall be added unto you. So you got to seek the kingdom first. You That's know? the objective, first. Right. So ain't nothing wrong with going to try and get a job and going to go try and uh, uh, do good for yourself. Mm -hmm. But you got an obligation to the truth first. That's right. Mm -hmm. And a part of that is waiting. So what the hell? Is, what, what the fuck, man? Mm -hmm. You got it, bro. It's Revelation chapter 3 and verse 18. It says, I counsel thee. This is the Lord, Yahweh Shai. It's red letter. It says, I counsel thee to buy of me gold tried in the fire, that thou mayest be rich and white raiment. You know, you have this knowledge. That's what we were just talking about. That thou mayest be clothed. Okay. Meaning this knowledge, and that thy sh and that the shame of thy nakedness do not appear. Yeah, because you're supposed to have on a garment. Right. Now your garment's supposed to be uh, clean, not spotted. Mm -hmm. You got a spotted garment, that means something's off, man. Mm -hmm. It says, and anoint thine eyes with eye salve. You're supposed to be able to see. Mm -hmm. You're supposed to be able to have discernment. So when motherfuckers come up to you and say any type of thing, you're supposed to know, like, hold up, man. No, that's wrong. Mm -hmm. That's ha part of having eyes out. Right. The ability to see. Right. To discern. To see. Can you? You could look. You can take away. Uh, let's say. Let me get that. Let, let, let's say you 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 was a. Uh, um. Let's say your finger break. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Let's say. Matter of fact, you got a broken hand. But as long as you can see, you gonna be all right. Mm -hmm. Boy, you take away a nigga eyesight, boy, he's through. Okay. <laughs> right? Mm -hmm. You can't drive. You can't do too much of nothing if you can't right. see. Yeah. Vision is very important. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. right. um, to that point ooh, of discerning. Oh, dear. You know what comes to my is, mind? Um, What's that? If you have vision, you can see the evil ahead. That's right. A prudent man foresee yeah, 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 So right. if you can't see. Yeah. You're that you fucked. Yeah, that, 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 that's, being, that's being able to discern. Yeah, because if you couldn't discern it, you couldn't see it. Exactly. Yeah. If you don't know the difference, how you gonna know what's happening? You yeah. gotta know the difference. You're not gonna know. Right. That's why the Lord said that, that you're supposed to anoint thy eyes with eye sound right. so you can see. Right. That thou may see. That thou may see. See right. what? See everything. Right. The Lord told you to watch. You can't fucking watch if you can't see. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I got a precept right here real quick. This is uh, Matthew chapter 16. I'm going to jump in at verse 1. It says, The Pharisees also with the Sadducees came and tempting, desired him that he would show them a sign from heaven. And he answered and said unto them, When it is evening, he say, It will be fair weather, for the sky is red. And in the morning, it will be foul weather today, for the sky is red and lowering. O ye hypocrites, you can discern the face of the sky, but can ye not discern the signs of the times? Oh, that's that's a beautiful precept yeah. to right now. Yeah, so, so you have to be able to discern mm -hmm. the you signs both, yep. of the time. Yes, that's right. You look at you playing basketball, la 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 la. You going to Astro Astro World concerts, <laughs> la 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 la. You know, A B C. <laughs> A B C. Hey. You know, it's simple. Hey, let, let's say let, let's <laughs> use this analogy, right? You say, uh, you know, they, it's been a, it's going around a, a challenges where they'll put the food in front of their children's face and say, "Okay, okay, I'll give you another cookie if you wait." Mm -hmm. So they'll walk away and see how the kid react to it, right? right? And then you'll get another cookie if you'll be able to wait. So here it is: the cookies in front of you, mm -hmm. but then. Right before the Lord come back, you eat the fucking cookies. <laughs> oh, right. When he's going to give you the kingdom. Right. right. You, he's really, like, he, discerning the times. Yeah. You, if you can't, man, you got demons on you if you can't see, man. That, 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 man. That's going into, that scripture would going into temporal. The things, the things are just temporal. And that's, he, 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 he he's holding that Colossians. No, he's holding Colossians saying, te temporal things going right. into worldly things. And you're right. supposed to set your affection right, right. on things above. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Let's try to get that. that, that but really, what it, you just said just now, that's what it goes into. Those, exactly. Just, uh, the temporal stuff. Exactly. Uh, th th that's what the Lord was explaining to, to when he was breaking that down to Peter. Mm -hmm. 
Peter wanted to know what he was going to get. Right. And the Lord told him that he had to wait. What did he say? In the regeneration. Do you know what that means? You had to die and you got to come back. Mm -hmm. So the Lord told him, I'm going to pay you in a, in a couple lifetimes. Uh -huh. Now here it is. You do a job for a nigga. You, you want to get paid, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, Peter, he had to wait. Right. He's still waiting. Uh -huh. <laughs> you got to be a spiritual man to wait. Yep. That's that's a very spirit. That's a trait of a godly man. Patience. Yeah, you gotta mm -hmm. be patient. You gotta be patient. He told him, "Look, man. Yeah, I ain't." I was trying to look. Told him, "Look, hey, man. Um, I'm gonna pay you back in the regeneration." <laughs> you, 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 you can't. You, a, a nigga can't be in the yep, truth. Exactly. A it ain't for a nigga. A, a, a nigga truth. can't wait. <laughs> A nigga, a nigga, a nigga, a nigga, a nigga can't came wait. A nigga can't even wait for uh, nope. his, his food, man. Nah, a nigga can't wait. Nigga, you got, I want it now. All right. I want it now, demon. <laughs> That's man. that Esau spirit. Esau right. couldn't wait. Oh, man, just give me the food. Oh, <laughs> I don't God. want this blessing here. Just give me the food. Right, right. <laughs> right. That's Lord, the Esau spirit. The Lord really got part of the spirit of patience. Yeah, he do. Me, he do. You, know? you got to be patient. I got it right here. You got it, brother. Um... What's off in the 15 verse? 2 Corinthians 4 and 15. It says, For all things are for, you, for your sakes, that the abundant grace might, through the thanksgiving of many, rebound to the glory of the Most High, for which cause we faint not, but through our outward man perish yet. The inward man is renewed day by day. For our light affliction, meaning our sufferings that we go through now, which is but for a moment. We went through that. But right. for a moment. It's only been a half of a day in the eyes right. of the Lord. Yep. Work it for us a far more exceeding an eternal weight of glory. Eternal. Right. So for a half a day, you're going to be rewarded forever. Uh-huh. This is the point. Verse 18. Why we look not at the things which are seen, but at the things which are not seen. For the things which are seen are temporal but that's because that's what you was just going into mm -hmm. the cookie, you know. Mm -hmm. she, she, she take the cookie right before the mm -hmm. Lord come back. Yep. <laughs> Temporal, but the things which are not seen are eternal. So this is what we focusing on: the things that not seen. That's which is that 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 faith. Uh, uh, Hebrews uh, eleven and one. Yep. You know what I'm saying? That's the right. The things something hoped for. That's right. Well, you got you know what I'm saying? Yeah. We we yep. we looking at the not seen, what you cannot see. Exactly. And, and, and we still believe. That's right. That's why the Lord said, blessed is the man who have not seen me and believed. That's right. There you go. That's why he said that. Because in order to wait, you have to have faith. And the world doesn't see what we see. Mm -hmm. That's why our family members, our, if your wife think you a fucking bug out. She ain't going to tell you. That's mm -hmm. true. Your wife think you fucking nuts. Mm -hmm. But guess what? Noah's wife probably thought he was nuts too. <laughs> right, right. Until she what? See, women are carnal. Right. But when they actually see what you was doing, right. what, it's going to blow their fucking mind. That's true. It's going to, whoa. <laughs> wet. You know what I'm saying? Everything wet up. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Right. That's what we waiting. Because right now we're not considered the man. And, you know, we go out, we look like fools with dresses on. You know, and people think we're crazy, which is fine. Right. But the deliverance and... When, when, when your enemies see you get delivered, when your when your children and your all oh, your families and the brother, it's all gonna be beautiful. It's all gonna work out mm -hmm. for the greater good. Mm -hmm. Right, right, right. Now we're considered losers. Yeah, you know, but it's all good. It's all good. It's all, it's good. all good because the, yeah. hey, the men of the Lord, were, Noah was considered probably a loser. Right. Oh no, you wasting your life. What you doing? Right. Hey, look, <laughs> can you imagine if I go build a boat right now on land? You gonna say I'm crazy? <laughs> <laughs> right? Yeah. If me, if all the brothers just start building on this big ass boat <laughs> in the middle, they're going to say, what the fuck? These right. motherfuckers are crazy. They're going to call the police, man. Well, Noah was crazy. Not, not, not too. Hey, hey we, you got to have a little craziness. You got to be crazy to be in this truth. Right. And hey, that's a, that's a spirit. Cause I'm you got to be crazy to want to be into this world. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> we, you looking at us like we crazy, but we looking at you like you crazy. That's right. Love not the world. We're really looking at you like, like the world. Dude, motherfucker, you ain't scared of God? We, right. Hey, we just be scrolling through Instagram like, damn, these motherfuckers ain't scared of God. Right. <laughs> it, it, it's a spirit, because I've been hearing this all day. I had a lesson entitled, like, only reason you look uh, you look crazy to everyone is because you can see. Ah, oh, that's very spiritual. You know, that's, that's spiritual right now. That's so very, that, you know what? can you read that again with your title? The title is, 
only reason you look crazy to everyone is because you can see. That's right. And Noah, right. Ha, Noah saw it. Right. The scriptures say that Noah, uh, what he, the Lord revealed to Noah what was going to happen, and it moved them to fear. Yep, yep. See, we were put up on game. That's right. Mm -hmm. You want to put up on game? That's why you're looking at me crazy. <laughs> you're like, damn, you going on a, every week? What, what, what's going on? What, what, you niggas are crazy. <laughs> You wasting your Saturday where you could be at the beach with your family and you know yeah, you can yeah, go yeah. And enjoy the beach. Well, guess what? You gonna be crazy right. when you need help. Right. <laughs> the roles gonna reverse. Mm -hmm. Right. The roles are gonna reverse. That's right. We ain't gonna be crazy then. That's right. <laughs> we ain't gonna be crazy. We're gonna be the wise virgins. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> Isaiah 4 and 1. That's right. We're gonna be the wise virgins. <laughs> We'll take we'll take the low right now. We'll take it. Yep. We'll take the low, man. We'll take the humiliation. A hundred fold. That's right. Because For everything lost. We we because we see we see people on the corners. They look at us. They, you know, not so much now because the, the world is in there. Right. <laughs> but, <laughs> <laughs> hey, when you can't afford a, a, a pack of chicken, who's gonna be funny? Who's gonna be laughing then? Right. Mm -hmm. Who do you do you know the name of the Lord? Is the Lord gonna feed you? <laughs> Right. Mm -hmm. Who's gonna be laughing there? We good. All right. We just gotta continue. All right. We know this the truth. We know it. That's why we 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 gave up. We we've given up everything for the Lord. For the Lord, we don't give a fuck about the world. No, I don't give a fuck about this. Brothers, shit, brother, we your job coming, man. Look, man, it's, right. it is what it is. I can't do it. All right. Your wife come, man. All right, what? Hey, whatever, man. Right. Anything that comes before the Lord, we ain't fucking with it, man. That's it, man. It's got to be it. We, it, it's, it connects. It connects too perfect. Exactly. Right. It's perfect. How can it not be? It's perfect. Anything. Anything that. Everything com connects. Right. It's, it's like you got it. Now I was say anything that comes and wants to leave. We don't. Give we a don't fuck. give a fuck. It gotta right. go. It gotta go. Anything that comes between <laughs> that be kids, right. that be wife, that be right. job. If my job say, hey, man, you know, we, we got to work on Saturday. You know what I'm saying, man? Right. I can't fucking work on Saturdays, man. Right. Well, I gotta go find another job. Right. Yeah, so they know I can work on Saturday, but I, I can't work past twelve. Right. That's it. If anything talking about after twelve, you got to hey, You got some job to try still yeah. to show that oh we need you to stay no. one hour just to get this you, thing done. You don't need me, bro. Man. Do what you can do. Right. <laughs> you do what you can do. Find someone else for that one hour. Women will be like, "Oh, you're always gone on Saturday. I don't think I can stay here anymore. Get the fuck out, then, man." Brothers that <laughs> lost their wives. Right. Mm. Brothers on lost wives, brothers on lost jobs, right. families, their kids getting taken away from but, them. But the thing is, did that did that destroy the brother? No. Nah. No. Nope. He's still doing what he gotta do, man. That's right. Mm -hmm. All right. Yep. Well, see, we look that crazy now, but right. You know, don't don't get to the end to let these demons persuade you, right. man. Right. Because those are those are just seducing spirits. Mm -hmm. That's why the Lord told Peter, "I have prayed for you because Satan wants you." Rough, roughly paraphrasing. Right. To sift you. Not the, the 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 demons they working harder now right. because we're at the end <laughs> trying to get as many people out of the right, truth. Right, Satan be working through your woman and shit sometimes to try to you know. Yeah, yeah. So at the end of the day, yo, what it is, is you gotta take it for what it is, bro. If they decide yeah. they wanna leave. They gotta let them leave. go. Let them leave. Let them go. Let them leave. That, we use the analogy of the cookie. Yeah. Look, you look, man. You woman, if you leave your man now, that that that's gonna be the worst mistake you've made <laughs> in, in 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 lifetimes. Because this is it. Is it approved that you? This is the, the, once you die and you. <laughs> if once you die now, I mean, it's the kingdom next. Right. You, this is it. Mm -hmm. You you're, you gonna leave a man a man of God right now? It's, mm. it's just, the Lord, hey, the Lord hates you if you look. You know how you know the Lord ain't don't fuck with you like that if you leave at the end. Uh, oh man, oh, the Lord, man. the Lord, he don't fuck with you, man. Oh, he don't man. like you. Oh man. He don't. Mm. Think about that. Here it is. You know, you see the end of the world coming, and then the Lord say. Get the fuck out of here, man. <laughs> yeah, boy. <laughs> you gonna get ravished? You gonna get ravished? I, I, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, um, it's a spirit. I got the scripture right in front of me. Go ahead, you got it. It's Hebrews chapter 10 and 31. It says, it's a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living power. Lord, you fuck. You, you, mm. hey, man. That, that, that's, hey. If you leave a man of God at the end of the world, mm. All those <laughs> Jacob's trouble and ravishing and wild beasts and the Esau, you're fucked. Mm -hmm. Oh, well, I read it again. Right? <laughs> Hebrews chapter 10 and verse 31. Wait, uh, uh, now's the time to be on your best behavior. That's right, man. <laughs> this is the time that if you're a woman, 
<laughs> you, you you should be really to be honest. You should be calling your man Lord. Right. right. Chick, hey, chicken about to be eight hundred dollars a pack. <laughs> <laughs> No, I'm, right. I'm, we're joking, but right. no, it's for real. No, you, you right. You just get, it's getting to a point where take a gas gonna cost damn near a thousand dollars. You were, you were. You, that's not Jamaica money. That's, hey, hey that's what money. inflation is. Yeah, yeah. Hyperinflate. Hey, it's about to get real, boy. Yeah. It's about America's about to become a third war, world country. Right. Yeah. So now's the time to, to get good win with your man. Right. Mm -hmm. You women that listen. You, you, hey, get, get right. Yep. Get right. right. That's right. <laughs> what we all? What do we always say? Let's go back to Noah. If Noah wife would have said, you know what, baby, a week before it start raining, hey man, this ain't working out. <laughs> <laughs> Look, <laughs> hey, if I'm off, let me know. Oh, Akium, if I'm wrong, <laughs> let me know. <laughs> if Noah wife would have said, you know what, babe, I don't think this working out. You know, I'm, I'm just been gonna. Bobbling. <laughs> <laughs> She would have been through. Yeah. So if you leave your man yeah. before the tribulation, you're yeah. fucked. <laughs> right. You are, you, you toast. Right. You toast. Your hedge is gone. Right. You left your hedge. Right. You you left him. You just, you just showed yourself to be a dumbass. You, you left, that's your, your man is your hedge. Mm -hmm. If you were the man of the Lord, that is your way out. Yep. Now the sisters that don't have a man, we're not talking about you. Yes, you eventually will get one, but you women that are with a man, if you leave him, you are toast. <laughs> yeah, it, it wasn't set up in the spirit for, for that to happen to Noah's wife, but remember the scripture leave an example and tell you exactly. to remember Lot's wife. If remember Lot's wife. So, so for these women who caught up in the system like that, mm -hmm. the scriptures say, those that are joined unto him shall be trust, trust true. Mm -hmm. When the angel came to Lot and he asked him, hey, you got anybody else in this house? Right. Who, who did the angel go to? He went to Lot. Mm -hmm. He asked Lot, is anybody that you wanted is, is saved? Right. He went to his sons-in-law. They told him, ah, get out of here, man. You're crazy. Thought it was a game. He thought it was a joke. Mm -hmm. He didn't go to Lot's wife. He told his wife, come on, let's go. Got his daughters, and they hauled ass. But she ain't fucking make it. Mm -hmm. She ain't fucking make it. Why? Why she ain't make it? Because she looked back. She was rich. Mm -hmm. That's why the Lord said, hardly shall a rich man enter into the kingdom. They were rich. They could have it, what any man wanted. They had. They were filthy rich. Mm -hmm. They had cattle. They had slaves. They had uh, silver, gold, land. Mm -hmm. They were good. Mm -hmm. She didn't want to leave that. She didn't want to get uncomfortable. Well, shit about to get uncomfortable. That's right. Instead of that extra whopper, you're going to have to cut that bitch in half. And, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. uh, we're mm -hmm. going to be good ultimately, but, uh, you know. Got to go through it. Exactly. Uh, Three or more time. Over. Time. Uh, yeah, he dropped, he dropped his cards a lot. I have switched the page. It's all, it's all good. I got it. I got it. I got it. Uh, Hebrews chapter 10 and verse 31. It is a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living power. That's right. That's right. It is. Yeah. That's right. Oh, yeah. That's it. I got it. Uh, anybody else have anything? Uh, oh, I got a word for affection. Okay. Let me read it first. Colossians 3 and 2. Set your affection on things above, not on things on the earth. Affection, it says a feeling of liking and caring for someone or something. Mm -hmm. It says tender. She had a deep affection for her parents, a moderate feeling or emotion. You know, so your 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 feelings and your emotions are supposed to be, you know, what they what they call love. <laughs> what the world calls that 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 feeling, that you know, googly that googly. Oh, I love you. <laughs> well, you supposed to feel you. like that about you. How about you, be out shy? That's right. And the only uh, it, it'll, it'll show if you really love them by you doing what you got to do. That's right. Your actions. Mm -hmm. You know, because your wife can say, "Baby, I love you." But the bitch ain't cooking months. She ain't the bathroom dirty and shit. Right. Your kids walk around, their pampers ain't changed. She don't fucking love you, man. Right. Your kids got fucking rashes. Yeah, she don't fucking love you, man. Right. You got them. You got you got but, uh, bugs and crackers yeah. on your bed. She feeding you TV dinners and shit. Talk about some. She love you. She don't love you, man. God damn it. The Lord mm. loves you. Mm. The Lord loves you. He gonna, he don't right. change. Right. That's why we put the Lord first. He don't change. Right. The nigga woman change like a <laughs> <laughs> the nigga woman change, boy. Right. As you switch up damn. on you. 
What we yeah. witnessed it, right? Mm -hmm. You before you come into the truth, yo, 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 nigga, woman loves you, boy. You in the world, you getting tapes and you, you partying, <laughs> you smoking, right. you know, you doing the worldly shit. Well, right. as soon as you come to the truth. She looking at you like, damn, you change. Yeah, yeah I want to serve God now. She don't like that. Right. <laughs> damn it. Yep. That goes to say that women are evil. Yep. Women are evil, man. Yeah. There are very few women that'll say, you know what, baby, you're doing the right thing by serving God. Right. A yeah. woman, you know, the, 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 no woman they're, they're so deep into this world and Esau giving them the liberty to do what the hell they want to do. Mm -hmm. They really want to have your place. They want to be the man. Yep. You know, that's what Esau, Esau give them that liberty to feel like they be the man. When you look around on these TV and stuff, what you see? Oh, the woman always is mad. Oh, why can't the woman play this sport or be that this and that that? Oh, the first woman this, the first woman that. They always liken themselves onto the man. Mm -hmm. You know, when they don't even supposed to wear damn pants. That alone in itself is, 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 is make them feel like they, they, they could compete with man. Because they wear the pants. Yeah. When they don't supposed to, the scriptures speak against that. But you know how it is, man. We, 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 they have to have a change of mind. We got to get over here. Don't worry. The change of mind is coming. It's coming, that's right. Don't worry. When, when, you, when, you, when, you, when you go to the store and you can't buy chicken and you can't buy your, your, your food, that's when the wake-up call comes. Yep, when they, that's when you stop working. That's when you become a uh, zaddy. <laughs> that's when your wife going to cuddle up with you and shit. Mm -hmm. When shit get hard, man. That's when you become the man. That's when you gonna become the man. We just, we just gotta wait. That's all. It's coming. Mm -hmm. You no longer you no longer gonna be a, a piece of shit. That's right. <laughs> no no Noah was the Noah was the man. Yeah. When it started raining, wasn't he? He was yeah, the man. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Noah. Every woman wanted to get on that boat with Noah, right. boy. Oh, they probably was flashing. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, Noah became the man. <laughs> oh, no. That's yeah. what the scripture say. <laughs> then, then shall they know that the prophet has yeah. been among you. That, yeah. See, yeah. now you want to fucking listen. Yeah. That's how it always go, though. Right. When you thought that this, this is an old crazy man. Oh, crazy motherfucker built this motherfucking boat. Right. You crazy nigga. Right. <laughs> uh, uh, uh. They say, no, I'm crazy. But, hey, y'all niggas crazy, man. Yeah, damn it. All type of motherfuckers want to get on that boat, boy. <laughs> <laughs> old women, old men. <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah, Shit. You can imagine. I, I can. That's why we speak about it so much because we can imagine. Right. Yeah. Can't you imagine if say you got a car, right? And that's the only car in the world. Mm. How many motherfuckers you think gonna want to ride? <laughs> right. <laughs> right. 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 You the you the only you got the only. Noah had the only water car. Right, right, right. <laughs> of course they didn't want to experience they, want, they wanted to get a ride. Niggas, <laughs> <laughs> man. You niggas had to go, man. A bunch of fucking niggas. They only, they only needed a ride for as long as the water was there. 40 days? That's all. Hey, hey, no, can I get a 40 day ride? <laughs> right, you know. Hey, the Lord, no, Cole, he had to one nigga couldn't hang on the side either on the boat. Right. Because you know a nigga would too, boy. That's right. That's right. For their life, what do you mean? <laughs> a nigga hold on, boy. <laughs> Yeah, man. Mm. Hey, we have fun with this thing too, now. That's right. We man. have fun with it, now. We love to do this. <laughs> right. uh, you got a war. This is Colossians chapter 3, verse 2. <clears throat> Colossians chapter 3, verse 2. Set your affection on things above, not on things on the earth. For for ye are dead, and your life is hid with a mashiach in the most high. I got an NLT. It says, for you died to this life. When you come into the truth, your old, the old man is gone. And your real life is hidden with Hamashiach in the Most High. Mm -hmm. So we haven't even lived yet because they say our real life is with the Lord. Yeah, because we ain't in RS. We got to go to work and to people's jobs and shit and clock yep. in. Your real life. So the real life begins when the Lord comes back. Can you read right. verse 4? That's when we're going to really live. Ver okay, come on. Colossians chapter 3 verse 4. When Hamashiach, who is our Lord. Our life. Or his daughter, who who is our life? That's our life. That's right. That's right. Our everything is is Yahweh Shah. He's our everything. That's right. That's right. Why do you think we, we we sing about him? I mean, we we waiting for him to come back. Mm -hmm. We even made a song. We're waiting for oh, yeah. Yahweh Shah to, to save, save us. us. Hey man, mm -hmm. 
Hey, you're right. You're right. He's our life. That's right. That's right. Now we waiting for when him? we talk, when we speak about the kingdom, when we speak about the things we're gonna do in the kingdom, the, the, all that, it, the, that's Yahweh Shai, man. Mm -hmm. He's coming to save us. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> I read verse four right. again. You gonna say that? No, you got it. Come on. chapter three, verse four. When a Mashiach, who is our life, shall appear, then shall ye also appear with him in glory. That's when the glory. That's when you get. That's when you become the man. Really become the man, because right. the Lord is going to give us, uh, you know, our, our little small victories over here. Right. Then shall they know that the prophet was amongst them. That's when everybody gonna to want to get down, you know, being delivered out of this place of spiritual power. So we are gonna get a little glory on this side, but the real glory gonna come when you how shall I get back? That's right. Yep. I finished verse four. Yeah, you finished it. All right, verse five. Mortify therefore your members which are upon the earth. Fornication, uncleanness, uh, In, I, inordinate, inordinate affection, evil concupiscence, 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 and covetousness, which is idolatry. That's right. For which things sake, well, verse six again. For which things sake the wrath of the Most High cometh. Cometh on the children of disobedience. That's right. You got mortify means to put to death. You're supposed to put to death the members. See what the brother was naming? Fornication, uncleanness. That's what we're doing. We're slowly mortifying ourselves. All right. So Cut, that's, 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 that's the old man. All right. Sanctifying yourself. That's, that's old. That's the old. The old man had these things on us, man. Right. right. You know? That's right. Verse 6 again. For which things sake, sake the wrath of the Most High. Cometh on the children of disobedience. Can you jump down to verse 10? Come. Verse 10. And have put on the new man. There you go. That's the point. Put on the new man. That's right. Uh -huh. and, and have put on the new man, which is renewed in knowledge mm -hmm. after the image of him that created him. Mm. Who created us? Yahweh Shai. That's right. Yahweh Shai created all things. Mm -hmm. That's, That's right. who we're becoming the image. We're coming to be like him. We want to be like Yahweh Shai. That's right. That's right. That was that's it, brother. Okay. Oh, quick one. Nine more minutes. Quick one. Uh, damn, it was a damn. Oh, you got it, brother. This is our Philippians tree, and verse twenty. It says, "For our conversation is in heaven." Mm -hmm. Remember the scriptures speak of our Second Timothy, uh, so that can Second Peter's, the third chapter. It speaks about the conversation being holy. That's how we're supposed to be. While we wait upon the Lord, we're supposed to be in holy conversation, meaning the prophecies. Speaking of the prophecies. So going back to Philippians 3 and 20, it says, For our conversation is in heaven, from whence also we look for the Savior, the Lord Yahweh Shai Mashiach, who shall change our vile bodies that it may be fashioned like unto his glorious body, according to the working whereby he is able to even to subdue all things under himself. Okay, so at the end of the day, we're waiting on our Lord, we're waiting on the Savior, and our conversation is going to be holy. You know, while we wait, mm -hmm. you know, teaching the word, preaching the word, mm -hmm. you know, yeah. You got more? Yeah, that's it. Can you go to uh, Ephesians 4 and 1? Uh, what? I, I love this. This is the book of Ephesians chapter 4, verse 1. It says, I therefore, it's like here. Yeah. I therefore, the prisoner of the Lord, beseech you. There you go. That he, you walk. You got it. He said he was a prisoner of the Lord. Right. I mean, he was bound. He, he that was his calling. That's what he had to do. Mm -hmm. If you're locked in prison for a particular time, you got to serve your sentence. That's what it is. Mm -hmm. You know. That's that's us. Mm -hmm. That's us. Go, you got it. making your body a living sacrifice, man. Mm -hmm. You know, all on the highways and the byways, uh, showing forth the praise of Him who called us out of darkness into His marvelous light. Mm -hmm. You know. Yeah, and, and and if I make a point. Um, when you wait, you, the, we already went through it. It's suffering, and suffering is not—it's not like joyful, you know, in the moment. Mm -hmm. 
it's not joyful. You know, you go through particular things and your life is not, you look at, you, you, you can't look at another person's life in the world and say, mm -hmm. oh, can you get Psalms 37 and 7? The scripture goes into how the, the wicked prosper in this world. Mm -hmm. And you might be looking at someone else's life right. being envious. And you can't do that because mm -hmm. they have a whole different story. They, 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 you can't look at another man's story and say, damn, mm -hmm. you know? Scripture said, envy not the oppressor. Exactly. And choose none of his ways. Right. You got it, bro. This is Psalm chapter 37, 37 verse 7. Psalm 37, 37 verse 7. Rest in the Lord Yahweh and wait patiently for him. Fret not, de fret not thyself because of him who pros prospereth, who prospereth, in his way. There you go. So mm -hmm. don't be looking at a, a nigga because he he a scammer and he driving a Lambo. Right. Yep. You know, don't mm -hmm. don't 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 be envious of that nigga, man. Cause mm -hmm. you know his latter end. Right. If he don't repent, you know he's toast. Right. <laughs> right. That's right. Don't worry about that. Right. You might look at you know the world and say, damn man, you know I'm, I'm missing out. You ain't missing out. No. Nope. You're on the right path. You ain't missing out. Trust me, man. Mm -hmm. That's why you got particular brothers the Lord preserving to, 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 to tell you, man, look, brothers done live certain lives and they'll tell you. Right. Man, you ain't missing nothing, man. That's right. You ain't missing nothing. Oh, I know that. I know you ain't missing nothing. You ain't missing nothing. You got you brothers from all walks of life will tell you, that shit ain't about nothing, man. Mm -hmm. They ain't about nothing. That's why the Lord put particular men together. Yep, that's right. He'll tell you, man, you know, whether whatever your demon is, is a, whether you got a, uh, you, want, you want a lot of women, you know, which is not... You, you know, nothing wrong with that. But you know, demons fuck with your mind. You know, you, know, you miss it out, you know. Don't don't worry about that. You Women, we're going to get plenty of women right. before the kingdom. Isaiah 4 and 1. Right. That scripture, that, that has to be fulfilled. That's right. prophecy. Okay? You're going to get women. You're going to have plenty of, you want money, you, you're going to get that. Mm -hmm. You just got to wait. Mm -hmm. So you're going to get real money. You, exactly. You're going to get that, man. So you don't, don't look at somebody else's shit and be like, damn, man. And let me, I gotta go back in the world get this money. Hmm. You gonna die with that nigga? You gonna die with the unlimited money, nigga? Right. <laughs> the nigga with the unlimited cars, he keeps swiping right. cars and shit. He gonna you, die, man. You should just left that nigga alone, bitch. Yeah. yeah. I'm gonna read up I, again and finish right. it. Okay. Okay. I want him to read that again. Go ahead. Oh, you want me to read it? Yeah, yeah. Okay. This is Psalm chapter 37, verse 7. Rest in the Lord Yahweh and wait. And wait. There you go. <laughs> yep. And. And wait patiently for him. Fret not thyself because of because of him who prospereth in his way, because of the man who who bringeth who bringeth wicked devices to pass. That's right. Come. So I had a scripture to back you up real quick. This is Second Ezra chapter nine and verse thirteen. And therefore be that be thou not curious how the ungodly shall be punished, yes. and when. But inquire how the righteous shall be saved, who's the world is, and for whom the world is created. So yeah, when you see them, the hot boys, the scammers, mm -hmm. and coming past you and all this, you know they like the brother say, you know they lie to end. Mm -hmm. So don't be envious of them. Let them do what they do. You don't know how what they do to get what they get, how they get. Yeah. You know, when you see them get smashed down the road. Hey, that's that's how they get their thing. They then yep. scam someone, yep. they someone and catch up with them, and then you just hear about them. That's mm -hmm. it. Yeah. They, they're not here anymore. Yeah, because the, the the dope boys and the scammers, they got the women, they got the money, they got the status, they got that. You mm -hmm. know, that's their constellation. Yep. Yeah, the scripture said that. the scripture said the Most High know how to pun how to punish the unjust mm -hmm. and how to save the the righteous. It's a scripture that tell you about that too. So see, mm -hmm. you can't worry about that. Yeah, he he's the he he's the man for three, four years. You're gonna be the man forever. Right. right. You're gonna be right. the man forever. Right. God damn it. Forever. And if you're a woman, you with that man, mm -hmm. you with your, you know, you women that got the you with a man of the Lord right now, yep. you're gonna have your glory too. That's right. That's right. It's just gonna be in your order. Mm -hmm. You're gonna have your particular glory. You just gotta wait first. Bro, we waiting for we, bro. We waiting. If we wait on the Lord, it's major stuff that's coming with it. Major. Major. God damn it. Use the yeah. right word for it too. God damn it. It's gonna be major. We setting up a. We gonna be set up, man. The, the right. Yasharala, the whole Yasharala. We getting ready to get set up. Right. Government rulership of the earth. What are you talking about? 
the earth. We about to have the earth in our possession. Right. <laughs> okay. Right. Major. That's major, man. Yep. The underdogs. The underdogs. <laughs> the, the men you call crazy. Yep. You had some one more. Yeah, I'm looking for okay. someone. Uh, Shit, hey, uh, hey, you you watch t you watch movies. You always had that one nerd. You had that one nerd, but eventually he come up. You know. He come up, man, through the spirit. Or one, uh, that one loser, everybody looked at it, loser and stuff. Eventually, he come up, man. Come and, all, and all the females follow after him, man. Mm -hmm. <laughs> all the women. And those that was up, they looking at him like, how is how did this guy get on this level, man? You know? It's, yes. it's spiritual. Real quick, this is uh, 2 Peter chapter 2 and verse 9. It says, The Lord knoweth how to deliver the godly out of temptations and to reserve the unjust unto the day of judgment to be punished. So it's a separation. That's why you got to do right thing, the right thing and you can't envy them. Mm -hmm. You see, because it's a different thing for them that's for you. Okay? It's, it's a different thing that's for them that, 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 that would be for you if you walk the righteous way. Okay, again, it says, The Lord knoweth how to deliver the godly out of temptation and how to reserve the unjust unto the day of judgment to be punished. Okay, so that's a separation, man. One, on. one is the righteous and one is the wicked. It's going to be two different rewards. They're going to be two rewards, but they're going to be different. <laughs> one is going to be good and one is going to be bad. Yeah, the Lord know we want women. He created women for us. Right. You know we want riches and we want... We want a man should want those things. There's nothing wrong with wanting those right. things. The Lord said, give us the desires of our heart, man. All you got to do is do it the right way. A man can live with as many women as he wants because it's one man. One man. One that one sperm going into this different woman. They, they have in his seed. There's nothing wrong with that. But when a woman tries to do it the opposite way around, if she tries to be with many different men, that, that's a problem. It wasn't set up to be that way. So the Lord ain't got no problem with that. It was meant for us to, the scriptures say, to be fruitful and multiply. Mm -hmm. and, and also, that's what it says. You're going to make a, a little one shall become a thousand. Going back to the kingdom, the Lord says he's going to save these women to, in childbearing. Mm -hmm. if, they, if, they, if they show sobriety and, um, you know. Charity. Yeah, charity, sobriety, and stuff like that. He's going to save them in childbearing. So they can, that's, what they, that's their purpose. Exactly. So that they, they, ain't, they ain't out in the proper sign. They got they that what the brother was going to do. They bear our children. And just stay in order, man. Stay in order, that's it. And you 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 get you you gonna be saved with your man. Mm -hmm. You know? Just stay in order. Just chill out, man. Cause nigga woman do too much, man. Too much, bro. Just just relax. Too much. Fuck, man. That's another thorn in the flesh. <laughs> <laughs> the fucking nigga. Hey man, we can talk about it. <laughs> you got something, bro? Um, if not, I got something. Yeah. Ma eight, eight else in that song, mm -mm. Matthew 19 and 27. Then answered Peter and said unto him, Behold, we have forsaken all and followed thee. What shall we have there, uh, therefore? And Yahweh shall have said unto them, Verily I say unto you, that ye which have followed me in the regeneration, mm -hmm. when the Son of Man shall sit in the throne of his glory, Ye shall also sit upon twelve thrones, judging the twelve tribes of Israel. And every one that have forsaken houses, or brethren, or sisters, or father, or mother, or wife, or children, or lands, for my name's sake, shall receive a hundredfold, and shall inherit everlasting life. But many that are first shall be last, and the last shall be first. Mm -hmm. Right? What we was going into. Don't be envious of these niggas that prosper in the world. That's right. Don't be envious of Esau because he's riding in nice little bins and he got a Lambo and he got a big ass house. Don't don't be envious of that. The Lord promised us particular things, man, and it's mm -hmm. gonna be it's gonna be in its right state mm -hmm. in the kingdom. Mm -hmm. I was listening to a video today. Who it was? Uh, the, the elder brother uh, Amawan Ibad. He said he, when he when he visit down here in Miami. See, he was on a tour, and they went past um, the, the owner of, of, of Pfizer House. And he, he, say, he says, I think if I remember correctly, he says around about 2005. He said that house was worth $72 million in 2005. So he said right now it's about $92 million. <laughs> I'm like, you see? But you see how these people living, bro? He saw living, bro. we boy. can't even get a million in our lifetime. 
72 million dollars just for a house, bro. That's just his house. The, the scriptures say they got more than their hearts could. Uh, 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 roughly yeah. paraphrasing. My goodness. They got, they got more than the hearts the hearts wish. They, this is their heaven. My good, he had a you number know? of seventy-two million dollars, bro. If that's you have just a five house. million dollar house, that's a big ass. <laughs> that, 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 see, that's, just, that's uh, just a house. That's just a house. That's what I'm saying. You got you got other life than just a house. So if he is able to just drop seventy-two million on his house, what else does does he have? <laughs> you know, bro. <laughs> but we gonna get we, heavens, hey, we gonna get that, but more. That's right. That's right. We ain't envying that. We're going to get more than Live that. Live it up. <laughs> We're going to get more than that, Live man. it up. We know we next. We got next. He saw the end of the world. That's right. Jacob was the beginning of it, which follows. That's right. <laughs> yeah. right. You got something more? I'm looking right now. Oh, we can, we can continue. We ain't finished that Colossian. I thought you said it was... Oh, we finished that? Oh, yeah, we did finish that. Salak. Yep. Salak, yeah. Uh... You know what? Oh, Ephesians 4. We, did we finish that? We didn't finish Ephesians, Ephesians 4. When you say he was a prisoner. Uh, -huh. uh you know, no, nah, you don't have to get that slot. I got Micah in front of me, real right oh. quick. Yep. Micah chapter, um, what's this again? Seven. Micah chapter seven and verse nine, it says, I will bear the indignation uh. of the Lord because I have sinned against him until he plead my cause and execute judgment for me. He will bring me forth to the light and I shall behold his righteousness. So because we sin against the Lord, whatever it is, whatever you go through, you have to bear the indignation of the Lord you gotta, you gotta suffer patiently, okay? It says because we have sinned against him, until he plead my cause and execute judgment for me, he will bring me forth to the light, and that's the part, that's the point. Bring me forth to the light, and I shall behold his righteousness. Or even, you know, we was out in the world, and the Lord call us into His marvelous light, you know. So now we suffer patiently, you know. So that we don't, so we don't be condemned with the world, man. Because the world, they going for it, they living their life, but we ain't gonna envy them <laughs> because we know, we know who we worship, man, and we know the scriptures say that the scriptures say you must know what the perfect will of the Lord is, man. And by you knowing that, then you know certain things you got to do. That's why the scriptures say to walk circumspectly is right there, redeeming the times. I'm gonna go back to the Ephesians the fifth chapter because you're supposed to know what the perfect will of the Lord is, man. Oh. This is the book, book of Ephesians, the fifth chapter, and the 15th verse I'm going to start from. It says, See then that you walk circumspectly, not as fools, but as wise. See, this is a warning for us how we should walk in this time while we wait upon the Lord. See then that you walk circumspectly, not as fools, but as wise. What would, 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 would our Lord say? Behold, I have sent you forth as sheep in the midst of wolves. Be the wise as serpents and harmless as doves, right? Mm -hmm. So he, the Lord telling us how to walk. Mm -hmm. How to walk among the people. Because even when the Lord walked the earth, it was a certain time that he couldn't walk among the Jews anymore because they seek to slay the Lord. Right? So it's it, it showing you, bro, perilous times shall come. Mm -hmm. That's what the scriptures say, perilous times shall come. So when these times come, you have to know how to maneuver. To get to the other side, you have to know how to maneuver, bro. You can't just do anything. It can't be just simple out here. Okay? It says, redeeming the time because the days are evil, bad times. Right? Mm -hmm. 17. Wherefore, be ye not unwise. Don't be stupid. Be ye not unwise, but understanding what the will of the Lord is. We have to understand this. What the will of the Lord is. While, while we navigating our way through, and keep the faith. Know what the will of the Lord is. Keep to keep the faith. Shall I find faith on earth when the Lord says, Shall he find faith when he return? We got to keep the faith during all of this. He that enjoyed to the end of the same shall be saved. Mm -hmm. While we wait upon the Lord, we got to still keep our integrity intact. Yep. Got so, to. Uh, this, I got a quick one. This is Sirach, uh 36 and 
16, it says, reward them that wait for thee and let thy prophets be found faithful. So right. that's a that's quick, short, and to the point, man. Because right. the Lord is going to reward us that wait for him. Right. Okay. It says, and let thy prophets be be found faithful. You know, let us be found faithful when you have a shot come back. The brother just quoted it. The Lord says, shall I find faith when it come back on earth? Because all hell going to be fucking, it's going to be crazy mm -hmm. out here, man. Mm -hmm. You still going to keep your trust in the Lord mm -hmm. when a pack of chicken costs $1,000? What you going to do? You going to give up? You going to go and eat rat and possum when the, that's the only food that's going to be left? The Lord told you don't eat that shit, man. Mm -hmm. You know? So what you going to do if there's only rats running around? You going to go eat a rat or you going to pray to the Lord and ask him, Right. You know, talk to your power, man. Exactly. You know, talk to your power. So these are the times that, that we're living in. Well, well faith got to be, we got to abound in more faith. Mm -hmm. You know, but um, read the scriptures more too. Exactly. Because that's what's going to remind you. But again, Isaiah thirty-three and six: Wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy time and strength of thy of, of salvation. The fear of the Lord is his treasure. When you read the scriptures, you got more things in your mind to memorize. And you, 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 you realize that, okay, the Lord is the father of spirits. If you hungry, you done been gone a day or two without food. At some point, praying to the Lord, the Lord will put something in your pot that you don't have to eat a rat or a mice. You know? You, you keep the faith that you don't, you don't make that mistake because you know you got to obey the most high word as you go. And the Lord have respect unto you, you know, uh, obeying his word. You have to believe in him until, until he feeds you. That's it. Yep. That's it. And we're going to close out with that. No willing, was that a fine? We're going to give all praise on and glory to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem, Rakakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to the brothers pushing the truth and all truth and sincerity. Shalom to the elect scattered throughout the four corners of the earth. Shalom. Shalom. Shalom.